Hi guys, this video is about all the different tours that you can take in Tel Aviv. Now in recent years there are some great niche tours, vegan tour, graffiti tours in Tel Aviv, as well as the historical tours that I can really recommend. Now many travelers that I meet, especially young travelers, tell me that they want to explore the city by themselves and I can understand it. But going to a two, three hour tour will show you new aspects of the city and I can really recommend it. And now in this video, I'm going to show you the different tours Tel Aviv has to offer. So let's get started. One of the things that I hear over and over from travelers is that they don't realize how small things in Israel are. Tel Aviv is the size of a medium neighborhood in one of the big cities of Europe. And the city is flat, so it is perfect for a bike tour. The bike tour starts at Abram Hostel and goes through the main sites in Tel Aviv. Rabin Square, Hayarkon Park, Promenada, Habima Square, Independent Hall, or the House of Ben Gurion, and many other sites, depending on the season and the guide. What I like most about this tour is that it deals with the contemporary history of Israel. I often think that there is a gap between most of the must-see sites in Israel that are connected mainly to the ancient history of Israel and what travelers ask mostly about the contemporary history of Israel. And this tour is all about the modern Israel, mainly because unlike Jerusalem, the story of Tel Aviv is connected mainly to the Israeli history, achievements, struggles, and the political and social tensions in the Israeli society. Another big advantage is that you get to see parts of Tel Aviv that tourists don't often see. Many independent travelers want to see the not touristic places, but there is often not too much to see in the residential neighborhoods. And riding a bike, you get to see the places where Tel Avivians live and hang out. Another tour that you can take is the Bauhaus tour. Tel Aviv is very famous for the Bauhaus buildings. It starts at the Bauhaus Center in um, Dizengoff, Tel Aviv. And the forest part of it is a short movie, like 10-15 minutes movie in the center. And then you get this map and the audio guide. And you just walk um, by yourself around the city. It's about an hour self-guided tour. The tour deals with one of the most known architectural style in Tel Aviv, the international style, known in Israel also as Bauhaus. This style started in Germany, but was brought by Jews that fled Europe and had a huge impact on the appearance of Tel Aviv. The main guidelines were modernism, mass production and functionality, values that match to the socialist modern view of Tel Aviv and the rapid growth of the city. In 1914, there were 3,600 inhabitants in 1936, the number jumped to 120,000. And by the time Israel was established in 1948, there were 250,000 people living in the city, making Tel Aviv the city with the most Bauhaus building in the world. Another great tour is the free tour. It starts at 10 at uh, Jaffa Clock Tower. And it takes you through the main sites in Jaffa. The port of Jaffa, St. Peter's Church, Summit Garden, Kdumim Square, and the alleys of Jaffa. The tour deals with the long history of Jaffa, which is one of the oldest cities in the world, from the ancient Egyptian to Napoleon, from the story of Jonah and the well to Peter's vision in the house of Simon the Tanner. Jaffa was the port city of Jerusalem and the gate to the Holy Land, so learning the history of Jaffa will make you understand better all the other sites that you will visit in Israel. There is also a contemporary 20th century history that you will hear about on the tour, the British Mandate, the prison cell of Adolf Eichmann, and the birthplace of Tel Aviv. My only problem with the tour is its name. The free tour is not free, but it is basically a tip-based tour. Not only that, the guides need to pay the company for every tourist that joins. So if you take this tour, and most of the guides are really great, leave a generous tip. Like many Western cities, Tel Aviv has a vibrant street art scene, and the graffiti tour is all about that. Street art, graffiti, vandalism, and advertising in the southern neighborhoods of Tel Aviv, Nachalat Binyamin and Florentine. The sidewalls of Tel Aviv have a story to tell, 
and in this tour you will get exposed to some political and social tension in Israel, but more than that, self-expression of some great artists. The guide will take you through known places like Shuka Carmel and Nachalat Benjamin, but also alleys and corners that you would have never found by yourself. Tel Aviv is known as one of the leading vegan cities in the world. There are a couple of reasons for it. Tel Aviv is very liberal and open to new trends. The Middle Eastern food is based on a lot of fruits, vegetables, hummus, trina, and not too much meat and dairy that needs to be kept cool in the very hot weather in the region. So the transition to vegan food is not that big of a deal. Two of the most common street food in Israel, falafel and sabich, are almost vegan as is. I'm not a vegan and I was surprised to see that most of the participants were not vegan. I was also really happy to see that it wasn't a missionary tour that meant to make the group vegan, but more of an eye-opener for vegan food ideas and way of life. The main focus is on the food. You really need to come hungry to enjoy it all. On the tour, we visited three restaurants, each one with a different background and concept, but all with great food. After the tour, I talked with Aviatar, the guide, which is also the owner of the company, and I really liked his approach. In my tours, I focus on the heavy history, Jerusalem, Christianity, Judaism, and I talk about the Israeli society between the main sites. And he says, let's put not the past, but the present in the middle, and I really like his approach. The slogan of Tel Aviv is the city without a break, often translated as the city that never sleeps. And unlike other slogans that are made to sell the city to tourists, in this case, it's totally true. Ask any Tel Avivian or just go to Rothschild, Allenby, Dizengoff, Herzl in the middle of the night, in the middle of the week, and you will see people sit outside, eating, drinking, or walking their dog at 3 a.m. Another great thing is that the nightlife in Tel Aviv is very casual. Maybe it is the hot weather, maybe the Mediterranean influence, or maybe the direct warm Israeli approach that make nightlife so easygoing and fun. The pub crawl starts at the pub of the Abram Hostel and continue to some of the pubs and parties in the area of Rothschild. I recommend this tour especially on the weekend, Thursday and Friday, when the queue to enter the place is long and you just go straight in. Guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Down here below, I will leave a link to a post with all the information, how you can register to the tours, where are they starting from, and all the things I forgot to say in the video. Another great option, if you're coming to Tel Aviv and you want to know the city, you can always buy my Tel Aviv booklet. It is in English or in German. Um, you can download it as ebook or buy the hard copy. And what else? That's it guys, see you in the next video and bye for now.